trouble for Baze in the 43 car. Not going anywhere on that start. And we got a battle with the Rifes now for the lead. Side by side through turns three and four. Tanner Rife, the older brother, trying to hold on to Tyler Rife, the younger brother. Tanner was fastest in qualifying, but Tyler drew pill number one. Tanner said during the autograph session that we had here, he's like, the younger brother always trying to shadow me. And here he is trying to take the top spot, but Tyler Rife still trying to hold him off into one. Tyler Rife's gonna do it. Trying to fix the rear end on it, kind of piecing it all back together. And for now, they've survived up to this point in the race. So we got the Rives leading the Zampas. Wise in fifth. And look at this, nose to tail racing into three. Stack up. Battle is for the fourth spot, 87 and the 92. Oh, brother, shot <laughs> brother. I asked Tanner about this. <laughs> I said, would you guys move each other for the win? Uh, Tyler was like, well, you don't want to. Tanner said, and we'll settle, settle it away from the track. It, it'll be fine. Uh, he just shoved Tyler right out of the lead. And now another one's going to shove Tyler out of the way. Seth Wise with the bumper. And now Wise goes up the track. This will help Dylan Zamper in the 92Z machine to the inside for the third spot. 11 laps into this main event. Two cars duking it out here side by side through turns three and four. And now a battle for the lead out of turn number four. Logan Zampa to the inside. He has come to play here at Irwindale Speedway. And as he's doing that, he's going to take the lead. But Seth Wise all over the rear bumper of Dylan Zampa for the third position. Of Dylan Zampa. That's Tanner Reif. And the 43, who's now wide, and this allows Dylan Zampa to the inside for second. Side by side, two turns, number one and two. Still going to have a lot of work just to catch up to Logan Zampa in the number 92 machine. You see the 87 of Wise to the inside of Rife. So Tanner Rife, that car is starting to go away on him, it seems like. He is losing time as Wise makes a move and gets by through turns number three and four. As into turn number one, you see Bazin now under fire from Tyler Reif. This is a battle for fifth. Now, Tyler's just been falling back, as we've seen throughout this race. And this is the first time we're starting to see this car coming back to life. We need to see him get around him, but Bazin's not going to give up. Bazin with a lot of laps on this third mile. A lot of legend car races and wins to back it up. And some great racing between these two drivers into turn number three. Uh, not too far behind them is the number 80 machine of Joey Serafin trying to close in on that battle. I think you got to figure out something. I mean, it's now he's got it working, so he's to the inside looking on Tyler Rife. Throws it into the corner. Tyler's going to stay to the high side. Avoids that dip and turns number three and four. Bazin's got the run. He's to the inside, door to door through one and two. And Beeler. Off in the distance, you're seeing this great battle. I wouldn't leave it, but update on the sticks of Beeler. Back on the track. So that I, team ain't done. I like I like the never say die attitude. Bazin gets by Rife. To, and oh, trouble, trouble the 80. This could be our first caution. And yellow. Well, that just ramped up the drama here at Irwindale. So Joey Serafin in the number 80 machine going for a spin and turns three and four. It brings out the yellow with five laps to go. It will be a five-lap shootout for the win here at Irwindale Speedway. Spears Pro Late Models, green flag. Into turn number one. Look at Tanner Reif. He was trying to go to the outside of it all, but Logan Zampa is going to have the advantage. And Seth Wise in the 87 trying to clear Tanner Rife. He's going to do it. They're door slamming behind them. Up front, Dylan Zampa has the opportunity. What's he going to do? Logan Zampa, he felt that one out of turn number two. Knock, knock. Who's there? To the inside now is Dylan Zampa. Logan's going to have to pinch that 92. Well, which one? If it's the 92C, he's got to pinch down and... Well, Dylan just goes lower. Oh, they're going to touch out of turn number two with three laps to go. Zampa versus Zampa. Side by side to the line. 
And it'll be Dylan Zampa with the lead that lap. Now, what do you do if you're Logan Zampa? He's going to get right to that bumper, but can he do anything with Dylan, or is Dylan going to pull away? Oh, boy. Behind them, a great battle for the third position. Seth Wise and Tanner Reif. White flag in the air. Logan Zampa all over the rear bumper of Dylan. I think you got to oh, use the bumper. bumper time. You got to use the bumper. Get that lead back. This is brother versus brother. One more opportunity through turn number four. Dylan Zampa sees the checker flag. Logan to the inside. Dylan Zampa takes the win. Gonna climb on out the fans. They can hear you now. All right, come on, make some noise. Dylan Zampa gets it done here in Victor Lane at Irwindale. Congratulations.